Back in February of 2013, there was a cruise ship out in the Gulf of Mexico, the Carnival Triumph. Some of you remember this. They had a fire in the engine room and the whole ship went dead. No power whatsoever. And I remember hearing about this on the news. I didn't know that some members of my church were on the ship. I heard about this on the news and I thought, man, if you ever had to be stranded somewhere, being stranded in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico in a cruise ship, that sounds pretty good to me. That just means you get a longer vacation than you planned, right? And then, and then my church members came back and they told me what it was actually like. They said, you know, once the power goes out, your toilets don't flush anymore. Think about that for a moment. Air conditioning's done. Remember, out there in the Atlantic, even in February, it's, it's very hot. And the food spoils within a day or two. So the smell in any indoor area is unbearable, but the temperatures are too hot for you to stay outside for more than an hour or two. So you've got nowhere to go. You are just miserable. So think about it this way. A cruise ship like that, I'm told, I've never actually been, but it has everything you need to have a great vacation. You've got great food and plenty of it. You've got entertainment around the clock. You've got a tropical setting. You've got everything you need. But without power, it's a nightmare. Without power, you can't wait to get off that boat. In fact, the the couple that was on that boat that was members of my church when they were telling me about it, the woman started crying. She's just like, it was too traumatic. And that's a picture of us as Christians. Because look at First Baptist Conroe. Look at the people in this room. Look at us. We have every advantage. There's no excuse for us not to live lives so outstanding and so distinctive that we draw people to Christ. We have everything we could possibly need. But without the power of the Holy Spirit, we will repel them from the gospel. We will disgust people. And they will say, I want anything but what those people have.